back to another quick resultant video about Power BI. Today, we will be discussing, again, some concepts around sharing and accessing Power BI reports. Uh, this time, we're actually going to do a walkthrough of how to uh, create different access. First, I'm going to share the creation of a workspace. So if I come over here to my workspaces, I can add a new workspace. I might name this workspace. I might give some insight into what it's about. I can also add some users. I can add an entire group, a certain listserv, or I can add an individual. In this case, I'll add a coworker named Gary. Here's where I can identify the different kinds of licenses that we have access to. Uh, this is something that you're going to want to consider for your organization and your needs of access. A premium per user allows an individual to have premium features. A premium capacity allows an organization to share uh, with non-premium users. It also allows a number of other features uh, for premium capacity. We'll dive into some of those in a future video. Uh, but in, essentially here we can pick uh, what we want this workspace to be like. This is something that you can change later. Right now I'm going to go ahead and select premium per user. This allows me to add premium users to the workspace. I'll go ahead and allow it to have small data sets. You can select different formats here. So it wasn't allowing me to create my workspace. I noticed that at the top, example workspace is not available. So you may want to come back through and make sure each workspace within your organization must have a unique name. Uh, so in this case, I'll create example one. Now that we are within a workspace, this is how users will be able uh, to get to all of your artifacts. So notice you can add people or groups once you have created a workspace very simply by clicking Manage Access and adding those individuals or groups. Now I've gone ahead and added a couple of artifacts within my workspace. You can see that there's a number of different types of objects that you can have within a workspace. And depending on whether or not you have premium capacity, there are certain features, again, that are enabled for each of these types. For example, incremental refresh on data or direct query access, uh, size of data. These are things that may be affected by how you decide to set up your workspace. Individuals who have access to a workspace, if they're not otherwise filtered down, will have access to all of the contents of that workspace. <laughs>